I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kudla. I'm Jesper De Jong. I'm Henry Laksa. I am Francisco Segundolo. And, and you are listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hello and welcome tennis fans to another play-by-play live stream here uh, presented by the Game to Love Tennis Podcast. I am Covey. I am here. There I am on the big screen. I'm here to call this match for you. We got the world number one Iga Siontek versus Ludmila Samsonova. A big matchup here. Um, these two actually played last year and it was considered one of the top matches of the entire year. Um, it was actually the 22nd straight win for Iga. So she had her 37 match winning streak last year. Uh, the 22nd win in that streak was against Samsonova. And they had a, it was kind of an epic actually. Uh, let me just find the, yeah. So it went, where is it here? Uh, so Iga won. She lost the first set 6-7. A rare set that she lost. Then she won 6-4, 7-5, and it was a three-hour match. So um, I'm really anxious to see what you think is going to be happening here. We'll do some predictions in a second. We got a few people in the house. So just so you know, it's 3.30 a.m. where I am. So it's an early morning one for me. Um, and I'm just grateful to anyone who's up with me right now, especially if you're up on my time zone. We got Man HL saying, can we start now? We absolutely can. Hello to you, my friend. Oh, we got Suwon Lim saying, Iga, Iga, Iga. And he says, oh, it's Covey. Yes, it is, Suwon. Great to see you, buddy. Um, I'm going to try not to wake my roommate up. But there's a couple doors in between us, but we should be good. We got Robert in the house saying, hi, looks like you're Polish, my friend. Um, yeah, Welcome. Welcome. I believe you're, I mean, I could be wrong, but your last name, Szynski. Um, Well, hello to you, my friend. Thank you for joining. KC saying Covey is an, is an Iga stan. You know what? I'm a tennis stan. I will, I will just follow tennis around like a sick puppy. Um, all right, let's see. Oh, was that Max in the house? Max in the house. Hey, Covey, thank you for doing this live stream. You're welcome. It's only 3.30 a.m. here in Vancouver, so... Um, I had Ben uh, give me a call just to make sure I woke up. Um, Gene is in the house, South Africa's finest. Welcome, Gene. Um, all right, folks, let's go Covey time uh, on Ega match. So let's get into some predictions, folks. Uh, I'm going to press this button, and then when I'm done, I expect predictions in the chat. So um, help me out, folks. <laughs> All right. All right. So my prediction, I'm going to go ahead and say that uh, our girl, Iga, I'm going to move that over. That. Uh, that centers me a little bit better, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit better. I'm going to go ahead and say Iga in straight sets. It's too difficult not to choose her uh, these days. She just won a tournament dropping five games. That's a record um, for 16 to 28 seeded tournaments. Uh, to only lose five games en route to a championship. Uh, so let me know what you think, folks. We got, um, and the match, by, by the way, has just started. Iga is serving first, and we are at love all here. She uh, She's on a second serve to kick off this match. Here we go. Backhand up the middle, Samsonova. Now we're going forehand, Iga. Forehand, Samsonova. Forehand, Sviantek. Forehand, Samsonova. Backhand defense from Iga there. And then... Sviantek with a forehand into the net. So, love 15 to start off this match. Um, we got Su Wan saying Iga 6 2 6 2. Um, we got Gene saying Samsonova will not win more than eight games uh, at straight sets. And Su uh, Wan also saying for sure Iga in straight sets. So, it looks like all of us. Um, we both share the same time zone, Covey. Uh, Max, you're in my time zone? Right, remind me where you're from again. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. I'm um, trying to keep all, all of my commenters um, trying to remember by, by heart. 
I know we got people in Boston. I know we got people on the West Coast um, of North America. Of course, we got a whole bunch of Europeans. Um, yeah. Okay, so far, 15 all here. Samsonova has got this, got this uh, mint green skirt and mint green shoes along with a white tank top. Um, we'll get into a little bit more detail when they show her to me once again. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's got the white visor. Um, Samsonova always rocks that visor. Beautiful out wide return. So Iga serves it really wide and Samsonova returns it even wider. And uh, uh, Iga tried to go up the line, but hits that wide. So, uh, pretty good start here from Samsonova, the number fourth, fourteenth seed in this tournament, thirteen in the rankings. Of course, Iga is world number one and has been for a year now. Got me some coffee. All right, nice serve out wide, and then a backhand return now forehand. Iga backhand Samsonova is a winner up the line. So quickly, a couple. Oh, no, sorry, it's 30 all here. My bad. I thought, I thought for a second it was 15.30. Or, sorry, 15.40, but it's not. Samsonova with a nice winner up the line. That was a flat backhand. There's no spin on that at all. So 30 all, but still, it is still a pretty good... <laughs> Iga hasn't been giving up many points or games at all. So even to get 30 all to start it off is, in a, is definitely a good sign for Samsonova. And Iga... Unreturned serve out wide. So game point now for the world's number one. Ah, yes, Nevada. Nevada, I do remember that. Uh, I, uh, we got Gene saying, aren't you tired? Uh, I, I slept for a little bit. I actually was going to go to this rap event, but um, the same one I went to last week, which is on Valentine's Day. And, oh. Beautiful forehand cross court winner here from Samsonova. She's looking sharp. So we're, we're to do so tiny bit of pressure here for Iga, something she hasn't faced in like since the, the Australian Open, it seems like. Um, so yeah, we got Vegas in the house. So yeah, by the way, Ben, ben called me to wake me up. I slept a little bit, so I didn't go to that event, which gave me uh, the ability to sleep for about three hours. And then I woke up and pretty much watched the the previous match with uh, Azarenka Keys. And so um, I'm pretty good. I got my coffee here. And also got a little bit of uh, some juice. Nice and cold. It's been in the fridge for the last few hours. So I'm, I'm stocked up and ready to go. And we got Milan saying, hey, guys, welcome, Milan. Uh, Gene saying Samsonova has the power to bother Iga. Yeah, well, she's definitely got a good start right now. Um, and Gene saying, remember, Iga struggles with power hitters. Yeah, I remember uh, the WTA finals and uh, when Sabalenka was on and she beat her, I believe, in the semis. Um, and of course, we're back and I took her out in Australian Open. So you're very correct there, Gene. And we got uh, Gene also saying, such a shame Azarenka was injured. Yeah, her right basically right Achilles or right uh, uh, heel. Something was messed up there. Backhand into the net from Samsonova. So Iga holds for a one-love lead to kick it off here. So good start here. And 2-1 um, saying, finally, Key's got a win against Vika. Yeah, I mean, so Vika was four wins and no losses against Keys. And um, I'm not really sure why Azarenka decided to play the whole match. She couldn't move. Um, it was almost like, it was almost kind of like it was, I was starting to wonder, I was like, is this a slight against keys that she thinks like I can't move at all, but I could still win. Um, so I'm not sure what's, what was going on there. It's very interesting. She couldn't move the whole entire match and, uh, she lost six, two, six, one, but she played the whole match. So hopefully I guess it didn't, you know, bother her more, but, uh, it was definitely interesting. Um, also folks. I forgot to mention, please give us a like, give us a subscribe. Our target is 100,000 subscribers on our YouTube channel. Um, so far, what do we have? We have 66 people watching and we've got 25 likes. So appreciate each and every one of you for those likes. As Samsonova rips a, a serve, this ace out wide to kick off her first service game. So 15 love for the Russian. 
Um, and let's see what else we got here. We got Max asking, do you think Ear can win Wimbledon this year? I definitely think she has the ability to win Wimbledon. Is she the best grass court player on the women's side? That's the one, obviously, uh, it's the one surface that she hasn't kind of uh, taken by storm. You know, obviously, she's going crazy on the, the clay. She loves the clay and the hard courts when she was on a 37-match winning streak. And then that ended actually at Wimbledon. Um, I believe it was to Alizé Cornet. So I think she definitely has the ability to. I feel like Sabalenka is going to be good this year at Wimbledon. I also think uh, Rabakina is one to watch out for. Um, and Bencic, um, oh, I'm not sure about her. I'm going to say she can do it, but I wouldn't say that I have her favored. That's how I kind of put it. First serve is a let. So a 40 love here, Samsonova is looking to go game to love and be the sharper of the two to start off this match. Let's see. And an ace. Uh, game to love there for Samsonova. We're tied at one all. Let's uh, give her some button action. You heard it from Ben. This ain't over. It's actually just started. It's one all here in the first set. Iga with an unreturned serve to kick off game number three. So it's 15 love. Here we go, folks. Look, listen to Max. Good advice. Hit the like button. That is correct. We are at 27. So we got two in just the last minute. Everyone hit that like button. Smash it. That would be very, very helpful. We really appreciate it. Um Hey, speaking of Ben, let's go, Iga. Show Cubby some love. Hit that like button, everyone. I agree. That's a very, very astute comment from uh, Son of Robin Records over here. All right, 15 all. Sorry, 15 love, Iga here serving. Nice serve out wide on the second serve, but Samsonova all over it. Ripped the backhand winner up the line. So 15 all and Samsonova looking sharp. Uh, we got... Gene saying, luckily, Samsonova has a great serve, so no bakery products for Iga today. Never know when she hits her stride, man, she can be real. Uh, she gets on a little bit of a roll, and you before you blink, she could be up three or four games in a set. All right, 15 all first serve. Nice serve. Uh, return is long, so 15 30 here. Not much in terms of rallies just yet. Both players, uh, yeah, still kind of finding their, their footing. I'd say Sam Sonova looks a little bit more crispy so far, but uh, Iga's not too far behind. I didn't say there's a big disparity by any means. Here we go, 30-15. First serve coming up from Iga, the world number one. Return, to the, uh, return from the backhand by Sam Sonova. Now we got forehand Iga, winner cross court. And that's a beautiful shot for 40-15. All right, all right. Uh, Gene saying, I I would have Sabalenka fave at Wimbledon. Yeah, I think I think I would too. Uh, yeah, even over uh, Rabakina. Um, and I guess no one's really talking about Jabur. She's hurt. Uh, she's hurt these days. So I guess that's one of the reasons. But um, and and Gene saying over Iga, they'd have Sabalenka. Um, let's see what else we got here. OKC okay, saying, haven't heard that button. That's the Samsonova. It's got that. It's got that. Uh, Western country twang. I don't like it. I feel like I should have a like, straw in my mouth. I listen to it. Um, here we go. Gene saying Samsonova looking good. Maybe that walk over against Jung helped her. Yeah, could be. Uh, I mean, it's always good to be more rested than less when you're facing world number one who is uh, in the type of form that she is. When she's in her top bakery mode here beautiful serve up the up the tee return up the middle now forehand iga backhand samsonova backhand iga forehand samsonova forehand iga cross court forehand samsonova it's a winner cross court so another game to deuce here on the uh, iga serve second time in a row so though she hasn't had any break uh, opportunities she is putting pressure early on the iga serve 
something that Iga has not really been facing in the last couple of weeks uh, as she's been kind of dominating the tour ever since um, Doha last week. So here we go. Deuce. First serve is up. It's good. Oh, no, it's wide. Second serve coming up. And then we got Casey saying bagel breadstick, please. Well, the possibility is still there, my friend. Um, as long as she doesn't concede any more games. Although that might be a tall task with the way Samsonova is playing. Although Samsonova returns that one wide, uh, long, I should say. So it's now advantage Iga. So again, no pressure in the sense of break points, but pressure to get her to deuce now for the second straight game. Iga here looking to wrap it up and take a 2-1 lead. Advantage. First serve coming up. Ball is up. Serve is good. Backhand return. Now backhand Iga. Forehand Samsonova. Inside out. Winner. Back to deuce. And so I was saying about Samsonova. So she's wearing a mint green shoes, mint green skirt, and then a white tank top, uh, and then a white visor um, on top. And then she's got white wristbands on either wrist. And she's got a little bit of uh, that that kind of uh, athletic tape stuff around her right knee. She normally does wear that. Um, all right. First serve into the body is good. Returned by Samsonova. And then Samsonova hits the backhand into the net. Iga with the advantage. Uh, Max is asking, who do you think will win between Murray and Zverev? That's a tough one. I... My heart says Murray, but my head says Zverev for some reason. And that's not based on watching Zverev lately. Um, and I know Murray had that gutsy effort. But yeah, for some reason, my head is saying, I'm going to go with my head here. Um, I'm going to say Zverev. What do you think, Max? Uh, she's asking about in Qatar. Oh, Gene helping us with a little bit of uh, out-of-town score. Mukova breaks Bencic. Ah, and we got Milan saying, I think Murray takes that one. Gene saying, Zverev wins, Max. All right. So we're, we're torn on that one. Nice serve out wide. And return is long. So 2-1 Iga. And a gutsy hold. Again, didn't face any breaks, but she is facing some pressure. So I, I'm going to give her a little bit of a button love. Iga. Iga. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm your child. I'm a feature. I'm gonna feature. I'm eager. I'm gonna see you. Now you can handle my heat now. All right, all right, all right. So we got um, Gene saying Samsonova is such a big hitter. That might be the key to victory here. Yeah, I would say for sure if she wants to, to make this a match, she needs to stick to this game plan. Uh, um, and then Milan mentioning, remember that Samsonova almost beat Egon Clay last year. Yeah, so that was the 22nd win in a row for Iga, that match when she, when she beat Samsonova. When she was on a 37-match winning streak, this, the 22nd win in a row was that match, and that was considered one of the best matches uh, on the WTA Tour last year. So it was a three-hour-long match. Uh, Iga ended up taking it 7-5 in the third set. Um, we got Son of Robin, a.k.a. Ben, saying going to be a close match, I think, and his prediction is I'll go 7-6-6-3 Iga. So everyone so far has got Iga in straight sets, who's made a prediction. Um Su Wan saying uh, Samsonova came to play. That she did. Uh, looking good for sure, especially on the return game. Uh, Casey saying thank you for the update um, to Jean. And uh, Mukova takes the first set. Ooh, okay. So Benchich, the only loss she's had all year on the court was to Sabalenka at, at the Australian Open. Of course, in Doha last week, she pulled out before facing Iga. So pretty much... Um, Hasn't lost many sets this this whole year. That's uh, pretty surprising to start off. We got Kathy in the house. Good morning at work. Popped into like, uh, enjoy. I'll watch later. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you for popping in. Really appreciate it. Um, 
Here we go. Now, Samsonova on serve. We got a nice rally going forehand to forehand. Forehand Iga up the line, and it's a winner. Uh, finally, a rally with over five or six shots. And Iga jumping on that one with that whippy forehand that she's got. With the nice shape over the high part of the net. Very comfortably over and dips beautifully. Nicely done there for Iga. Um, wow, 6 1 was the first set. That's pretty crazy. We got Yazda Iga from KC. Everyone welcoming Kathy in the chat here. Samsona, a nice serve, a lob return. Now, Samson of a forehand. Iga whips a forehand up the line, but that's wide. So, 15 all here in game number four. On serve in set number one, we got Gregor saying Yazda Iga. Again, I'm trying not to wake up my roommate. <laughs> It's quarter to 4 a.m. here in Vancouver, but hey, I'm feeling great. I got my coffee. I got some other, uh, I don't have any alcohol. That's probably a good thing this late, but I do have some crystal light. No sugar, but sweet. All right, another uh, lob return. This one off the backhand, a desperation, but Samsonova loads the forehand and goes up the line. Winner, 30-15 for the server. Um, we got Stu Wan saying, Iga, break, please. And we got, hello, Covey. Hello, everyone. Eves. Aswani, welcome, Eves. Thank you so much. And hey, all of you who are just joining us, just in case you haven't heard, please give us a like. We're at 32 already, and we're only uh, in game number four of the first set. I think for sure we should be hitting the 100 like button on this stream. That is definitely a goal. We have 85 people watching right now. So please, if you if you will, if you if you feel like giving us a like, we will happily accept and appreciate it. Also, if anyone uh, wants to throw a tip for a button, please do. We, we usually go five bucks for a uh, for a button of your choice. We got Sue Wan saying Ego Break Play. I think I already hit that one. Um, we got Ben welcoming Kathy into the chat. I just love when, when someone comes in, one of the regulars, and everyone says hi. Um, Lamberto, welcome. Como stai, amico? Lamberto's in the house. Yeah. All right, here we go. Forehand exchange. Now Iga's forehand is long. So Samsonova up 40-30 game point here for the Russian. Okay, okay. This match is starting to get a few more. Hey, we're up to 34 likes. Thank you all. Um, this match is starting to get some rallies going, so it's good to see because the first uh, couple games, two, three games, a lot of short points. First serve is long here. So second serve coming up, Samsonova. We'll get into Iga's kit after as well on the next uh, game when she starts serving. Second serve is good. Backhand return cross court. A backhand Samsonova, forehand for Iga. Forehand Samsonova into the net. So Iga now forces a deuce for the first time. On her return game. So, a uh, little bit of pressure now. Samsonova held to love in her first game, uh, first service game. Iga with her familiar Technofiber racket, just like uh, Daniil Medvedev, who was a victor this week, uh, this past week in Rotterdam. Great victory over Yannick Sinner, three setter. And at the next changeover, I'm going to get into some other scores as well, just to keep everyone apprised of what's going on in the world of tennis. All right, serve is good. Forehand cross-court ripper is a winner for Iga on the return. So advantage Iga looks like she's uh, she's she's trying to tease us with the chance of a breadstick here. She's not used to... Um, Losing more than a single game in, in a set these days, which is so impressive. So, so impressive. We got Eve saying, Ludmila is one of the few players to take more than eight games from Iga on her winning run last year. Yeah. Well, she took a set, which was uh, the first set, which was that in itself was like a massive accomplishment. But resilient Iga came through at the end there. Uh, Jean saying, Emma got eight games too, LOL. All right, backhand return, Iga, backhand, Samsonova, backhand, Iga, backhand, Samsonova, forehand, Iga, forehand, Samsonova is long, and there you have it. First break 
of the match goes to world number one, takes a 3-1 lead. When the Polish still be rolling in Each victim be serving them Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when you open shot I'm a I'm gonna beat ya I'm eager, gonna see ya Now you can't handle my heat now Now you can't handle my heat now You can't handle my heat now Ben has asked and Ben has received He asked for a break and he got it So Iga now up 3-1 to one here Looking good. Gregor is happy about that with a big smiley emoticon. Emoji? Emoticon? I guess they're the same thing. I feel like emoticon is for like people who are older than millennials and emojis are millennials and lower. I don't know. I'm just making this up. It's really early, folks. Beautiful serve up the T and the return is long. So real quick, with two swings of the racket, Iga is up 30 to love. Now she's starting to roll, folks. Uh, she's got that look in her eye. I wouldn't be surprised if she goes on a little bit of a tear. Um, we got some Yazdas from Gregor Yazda Iga. Same with Suwan. And uh, we, we got Jean saying, ah, oh, in front of us. Yep. Woohoo from Ben and a huge Yazda as well. And then to counter those, uh, all the Iga loves, we got the Eves Hazwani saying, please, no breadstick. Um, Jean, so, uh, Jean, same. Um, yeah, there we go. All right. Nice serve up the middle. Returned up the middle. Now another forehand goes long and a game to love for Iga. And she is rolling. Man, that was like, what, a, maybe a one-minute game? That was really fast. <laughs> All right, instead of hitting the Ega button, because I just hit an Ega button, we're going to go with a little bit out-of-town scoreboard action for y'all. So over in Doha right now, we've got uh, Felix Ogilasim has just started versus Kubler. They're at one all in the first set. Um, over in Marseille, we have Eimer, Michael Eimer versus Alba, uh, Radu Alba. And uh, that is on serve 2-1 one, or 1-2 one, in the first set. Um, we got a whole bunch of suspensions in Rio. Uh, well, we got three matches that didn't finish and three that didn't start, um, in Rio. So those will pick up later on. But more importantly, in Dubai, we had Pagula earlier with a straight sets win over Bogdan. We had Pliskova beating Anna Kalanina, uh, sorry, Angelina Kalanina in three sets. We had Madison Keys with an easy 6 2 6 1 victory over an injured Azarenka, her right. Achilles slash heel, something was taped up, um, was not able to move whatsoever. I'm not sure why she finished that match. Um, and also, we got Mukova. We're on serve in the second set, but she is up one set to love um, over Melinda Bencic. So Bencic under a little bit of pressure for the first time this year, other than that match against Navalenka. And of course, Iga is up 4-1 to one here. So that's your out-of-town scoreboard Ladies and gentlemen, and also thank you to Jean for uh, the constant updates on that match. Really appreciate it, as always. Um, Jean saying every Ega match this year is going to be a blowout. We got a son of Robin, a.k.a. Ben, just breadsticking us all day long here. We got L Lucas uh, Suzupal. I hope I said that. Dawaj Ega. Uh, also hope I'm saying that uh, right. Um, where is Ostapenko when you need her, says Jean. She's going to be facing Sabalenka at about uh, 7 a.m. my time, so in about three hours and five minutes that's uh, going to be starting. Iga, she's on a roll now. She's up. Uh, she had a backhand winner up the line here, um, and she is rolling, folks, absolutely on her game right now. And it's looking really good. I wasn't sure at one all. So her first two service games were taken to Deuce, and I was like, ooh, I'm not sure if she's going to get any bakery uh, products going, but um, that has quickly turned around. Beautiful serve out wide. Uh, Iga one-handed block return. That goes wide. So Samsonova finally gets a little bit of 
he lost a bunch of points in a row there. So good to get back on the point train. 15 all here on her serve. Excuse me. All right, serve out ride, returned up the middle, and then Samsonova with a forehand cross court and a winner. Wrong footing, Iga. Nicely played 30 15 for the Russian. Um, so who, hey, who, who here is going to be watching that uh, Sabalenka and Ostapenko match? And let me know what you think. I'm very curious about that one. I don't think it's going to be a cakewalk for Sabalenka, but I do think she's going to win. Um, and by the way, how about that win yesterday? She, she pulled a, she pulled a Iga. She won six love, six one, a, ba a bagel and a breadstick. She's starting to copy Iga in a lot of ways here. I wonder if we're, we're on pace for some uh, heavy collisions between these two this year. I would love to see that. Um, the the players so far, um, the players so far for me on the women's side that are on the top echelon to start the year, we got Iga, we got Belinda, Bencic, we got Tabalenka and we got Rabakina. I'd say those four right now are the, the women to beat at any given tournament. Nice serve out wide there for Sam Sonova, and it's an ace. A 40 30 game point coming up. So, will she avoid the breadstick? We'll find out very shortly here. She could win one more point right now. She will have done it. Okay, Sam Sonova, serve out wide, but it's uh, serve is long. So here comes the second serve. Ego with a chance here to get it back to Deuce. Keep that bakery open, at least in this first set. 28 minutes in so far. Second serve. Oh, didn't like the toss. Pulled a Caminori there. Here we go. Another toss. Serve is good. Backhand return up the middle. Forehand from Sam Sonova. Now good defense from Ego with a chop. Squash forehand, backhand now from Iga, forehand Samsonova, forehand Iga, forehand Samsonova into the net. So Iga forces a deuce. Nice. What? Where is it? What's Iga doing? She's going to her. I don't know if he... Iga went, went to the bench. I don't know if she thought the game was over or, or what. Um, that was kind of weird. Anyways, all good. Um, but yeah, that was weird. She went. She started walking to her bench, uh, and then said something to the ref, and then came back. Not sure what, but anyways, Deuce here. Um, let's see. We got Sean Power. Nice to have you in the in the chat as always. Sean says, "Has Ega improved anything from last year?" Um, I, you know what? That's a good question. I feel like. Maybe her there's a tiny bit of more whip and shape on her forehand, but she's always had that. Um, I know that she worked on expectations mentally uh, coming into this year and after the loss in, in the Australian Open. So I think maybe her improvements are more kind of between the ears. Um, nothing physical that I can that I can tell. And there you go, Iga break again. Man, she when she's on a roll, she is on a roll. Another break for world number one. She's up five to one. Yeah. So, yeah, that's going to be my answer there, Sean. So far, it's between the ears for me from what I've seen. Uh, and then Gene's making a prediction uh, uh, on the Sabalenka, Ostapenko, and saying in three sets. And also, we got Kubler breaks Felix early. So, Felix... Again, with the outdoor hard, just really not feeling it. Indoor hard courts, he had the best record in the whole men's side last year. Ego uh, with a beautiful backhand uh, plus one cross court winner to take a 15 love lead. And it looks like the breadstick. Um, I could smell a breadstick here uh, all the way in Vancouver, just baking in the oven all, all the way from Dubai. Um, yeah, pretty crazy. Uh, elbow breaks Emer. First serve into the net from Iga. We got a Yazda from Yaroslav Saprowski. 
We've got one from Suwan, Yazda Iga. Lots of Iga fans in here, loving it. Backhand return is a nice one from Samsonova. Now backhand Iga, backhand Samsonova, backhand Iga. Oh, nice angle, and that's a straight winner. 30 love here. I uh, got a, one from Sean. I wonder if players don't like her because she's embarrassing them on the court. I mean, honestly, I bet you some people are embarrassed, um, especially the ones who are like in the top 20 who are getting embarrassed or, you know, players like Collins, uh, Kuter Matova, Pagula, um, you know, can't be a good feeling to get bageled, uh, especially when you know she's been bageling others and you're like, you're like, you know, for example, Pagula is like, okay, she's bageled and breadsticked Collins, Kuter Matova. I'm not going to let it happen. And what happens? She wins... Or she loses the first set 6-3 and then she gets bagel, you know? So it's like, even when you're expecting it and, and it happens, it's even more, you know? Um, we got Aga saying Yazda Iga. Um, and a nice forehand cross-court winner, Sam Sonova. So she says, not so fast, Iga. I don't want the breadstick. But Iga still has a couple chances here. She's still up 30-15 and just two points away from set number one. What else was... See, looking at some service numbers, we got one ace for Iga, four Samsonova, zero double faults, one for Samsonova. Iga first serve percentage seventy two, first serve points one sixty seven. So those pretty good numbers. And uh, the biggest stat right now in this match, five. Uh, sorry, she's won five out of seven second serve points. Samsonova, zero for seven. So that's the difference in the match right now. Samsonova with a backhand long. And Iga now has two set points on her racket. And we got Luca saying 6-1-6 love for Iga. Well, you're pretty close so far, my friend. Um, at least for getting that first part right. Yeah, isn't that that that's is that crazy? Zero behind her second serve. That is unacceptable, and uh, especially against Iga. But what does that mean? Obviously, it means that Iga is punishing. And there it is, backhand winner up the line. Iga takes set number one, and there it is. The breadstick that we were all wondering about has happened. So, unfortunately, there's no breadstick button. Although Ben might have to make one with how many uh, Iga has been doing. I'm going to give Iga a little bit of uh, love on a button here. Let's Iga, Iga, Stiante, Yazda! The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm Iga, we know you. I'm a feature, I'm gonna beat ya. I'm Iga, I'm gonna suit ya. Now you can handle my heat now. Alrighty, we got Raging Bill with five breadstick emojis. Um, no one is uh, no one in Iga's league, not right now. Ram Bakshi, what's up, Ram? Good to have you in the chat, my friend. Um, Raging Bill again saying, uh, yeah, Ben, stop slashing the breadstick button. Um, you know, uh, Ben and I, I were joking earlier on the chat. We were just saying, he's like, I'm spending all my time updating the, the Iga um Breadstick button. So I don't know if you see on the on the GTL ten, uh, Twitter feed, uh, Ben's been making uh, uh, photos of anyone who's been getting bageled or breadstick and just kind of putting a new face. So it, the first one was Colin's face, and then there was the same image with uh, uh, Twitter Matovas, and then it was Pagula. So he was saying, I'm spending half my days making new buttons for the, for the bakery victim. And Luke is saying, I told you, hey, you were right. And I, um, I think that was a great call, my friend. You know your tennis, brother. Um, and then we got Robert Szynski saying, her play looking good. Bravo, Iga. Yeah, she is rolling. Basically, from game three onwards, she just uh, took a stranglehold on the set. Ben saying, ha I'll have to make one. There you go. He's listening. Uh, so, Ben, he is listening to you. Gene saying, yeah, Ben, get on it. Iga, what a legend. Aga saying, welcome to Iga's Bakery. I believe Iga has just left the court. So maybe she's going to the bathroom or doing an outfit change. Um, I'm sure it's pretty hot over in uh, Dubai. We got Andre Kowalek 
saying du boju iga. I don't know what that means, and I really hope that I'm uh, pronouncing it right, but uh, definitely an Iga fan. And yo, listen to Ben, folks. Hit the like button. Please do. What are we at? We're at 42. Okay, okay. We got to hit the 100. I know we can do it. We have a whole bunch of you in here. We got 108, 120 viewers, actually. So if everyone just really quickly hit that like, then I can hit the 100 likes button, which, by the way, goes hard. It's got a nice little guitar riff. And it's a really chill vibe. I really want you all to hear it. So please help me get there. Let's get to that 100 likes. 43 now. So you guys are um, showing some love here. Bakery, bakery from Ben. We got Eve saying, uh, Ego plays pretty much the same way, but there's some face have problems with mentally facing her. Yeah, um, it's definitely a, an uphill battle, especially if she gets uh, I mean, Sam Sonova came out just ripping the ball, um, forcing Iga to do on both of her, her service matches, her service games. And uh, just right away, Iga, uh, in game number four, just decided, okay, just that's enough. I'm just going to run with it um, and totally turn this match on its ear um, out of nowhere. It wasn't like one specific point uh, after a big rally. It was just, hey, um, I think I'm going to take this we got uh, Gregor Krajewski saying here is only one like uh, I'm not sure exactly what you mean here but please do hit that like button we appreciate it and also hey um, here and above me we got merch there and, uh, there we go see the 22 this is merch um, this is an actual 22 from um, Djokovic's victory in the Australian Open. I got me some merch from Game to Love, and you can also have some merch from Game to Love. Look at the description box below, and we have our merch store. You can be decked out in the coolest uh, GTL swag. I also have a T-shirt as well, and it, it goes pretty hard. It's uh, plain white, and it's got the nice little logo on the front. On the back, it says Game to Love Tennis Podcast. Uh, very, very. Oh, Gene, you you saying my sound is a bit weird? Let's check. Let me see. Let me know if this is any better. I'm just gonna turn the volume up. There is an auto uh, correction on the volume, but uh, let me know if it's any better, Gene. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't sound sound bad in any way. Um, let's see here. Okay, we're back, folks. Set number two. Samsonova serving. And uh, he's quickly up 30 to love. So good start here for Samsonova. Just like the last set. So check this stat out. Iga, when she wins the first set in a WTA 1000, 34 wins and zero losses. So when she wins the first set, she pretty much wins the match. Um, Crazy stat. Very impressive. Very deep block back return lob from Iga. Um, and now a second lob. Sam Sonba puts that one away and she's up 40 to love. A good start here. All right. Thank you so much, Gene. I appreciate you letting me know. Um, thank you very much. I definitely don't want to uh, don't want to sound anything but crispy because I got a nice small mic here. It's actually a recording mic for my hip hop stuff. So, um, anyways, good to hear. Thank you again. I really appreciate that, Gene. Uh, Sue Wan saying 121 watching. Come on, guys, let's get to 100 likes button. Yeah, I agree. I definitely want to hit it. Sam Ponova, oh, she had an easy short ball off of a lob. She chose to go forehand instead of an overhead, and she goes way wide. That was a, it wasn't a shank, but I mean, it was like borderline shank. Eve saying once they get broken or lose a set, they they kind of capitulate. Yeah, yeah, it does does happen. They get demoralized pretty quickly. Ah, uh, Gregor saying I can only press it once. Well, I do appreciate you you pressing it, my friend. Thank you very much, um, and thank you for clearing that up. My apologies for not understanding. Um, and then uh, Eve's to follow up on the the capitulation says, which makes it easier on easier, uh, which makes it easy easier on Iga. Wow, second serve was like. 
four and a half feet long here. So a little bit of nerves, uh, oddly, from Samsonova after being up 40 to love. And now it's 40-30. So Iga's got her eyes set on uh, potentially forcing a deuce, maybe even trying to get a break, demoralize, cap make uh, Samsonova capitulate even further. All right. First serve here at 40-30. Still game point for the Russian. Serve up the middle, return up the middle. Now uh, backhand Iga and backhand Samsonova. Forehand Iga, backhand Samsonova. Nope. Doesn't have enough to get it back. And Iga from love from 40 love down has now forced to deuce. Wow, man. Iga is feeling it, man. Again, she's just like there wasn't anything even in this game. There was no like big point that changed it around. She just decided at love 40 or at 40 love. She was down love 40, I guess you'd say. Uh she just decided, hey, I'm I'm just gonna win. And and she just kind of turned up the heat really quickly. That's an amazing ability to be able to just ratchet up the heat. Um, was not expecting Samsonova to get to, to get breadsticked after that start. So you get just killing it. Return up the middle. Samsonova backhand into the net. So four straight points now for Iga after being down 40 love. And now she has a break point to kick off set number two. Two one. Yes, sir. Love 40 to 40. I guess it was 40 love because she was returned. But yeah, uh, not, not even her serve. She put next year. Yeah, she is just cruising. <laughs> we got, I like this one, RIP Samsonova. All right, second serve. So she is 0 for 9 on second serve points. Let's see if Iga continues to eat her second serve for breakfast. Or I guess maybe for lunch because it might be uh, afternoon in Dubai. All right, we got a backhand Samsonova, backhand Iga, cross court, backhand Samsonova, backhand up the line, Iga, forehand Samsonova into the net, and Iga breaks again. Wow. Bakery is alive and well. Let's give her a button. I mean, how can you not? She's just killing it right now. Iga, Iga, Spionte. The bakery be opening when the Polish girl be rolling in. Each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel in. I'm eager when I'm on the job. I'm a feature. I'm gonna beat ya. I'm eager. I'm gonna see ya. Now you can handle my heat now. So, so far, Iga with 29 total points to 18 for Samsonova. She's two for two on her break points. Sorry. She's three for three, I should say. Um, what I was mentioning was stats from the first set that they popped on the screen. So Iga's now three for three break points. And Samsonova, the big stat is zero for 10 on second serve points. So she's getting destroyed on second serve. And that's a big reason why Iga has won seven out of eight games in this match. However, Samsonova does win the first point in game number two um, in the second set. So it's love 15, Iga serving up a break. Oh, another update from Jean. Mukova breaks bench. It's 3-2. Oh, so now she's down a set and a break. That's a upset alert here. Let's be watching that one. Um, Suwan says she gets the break. Yep. We got Lucas saying Polish power, never give up. Yeah, well, that's uh, Polish power personified right here is Iga because she has been power and a force on this tour for a couple of years, but especially in the last year where she's dominated. Speaking of Iga, let's go into her kit. So she's wearing a white Asics hat with a white bill, but there's a black, just a thin outline on the bill. Really stylish. I like that. And then she's got this like pink, yellow, tan sort of top, uh, tank top sort of. And then she's also got uh, shorts on uh, that that kind of match some of the colors because uh, so her top has a mixed the the bottom is kind of more uh, of a solid straight through on the on the shorts and uh, she's too far away for me to see what else she's got on okay yeah so she's got the A6 on her left um, very focused on the serve. She's got some light 
light purple on her shoes. Looks really good. And she's got um, this really cool orange wristband, ASICS, on her right wrist. I, li I like that one. And she's also got orange, I guess, like uh, shorts under her shorts. So it kind of matches. Nicely done. So there's the kit update, folks. Uh, another update from Gene. 6-3 Michael Emer wins the first set over, was it uh, Rad Radu Albo? Um Game Siontech, great serve out wide. Samsonova tried to go cross court, but it was long. So, consolidation for the Polish world number one. Um, Suwon saying Iga broke Samsonova's mental now. It looks like it. Um, and also saying Benchich is done, broken again in the second set. Um, Benchich is probably tired. She spent three and a half hours on court yesterday. Yeah, it was interesting. There's the three longest matches of the year in the women's tournament all happen in this tournament. Um, basically within like 48 hours. So maybe the slow courts had something to do with it. Longer rallies more or, or just anyone not playing Iga is the matches are just more even. Um, so Samsonova with a backhand winner. Cross court to take the first point in game number three here. In set number two, she is down a break, serving at 0 2 at love two. And then Suwon saying, Benchy to go to Iga for this tournament to not even reach quarters. And I know in the last, yeah, in the last tournament, I was really bummed that she didn't, uh, she didn't play Iga. All right, second serve here at 15 love is good. Forehand return up the middle. Samsonova, her forehand is off now. Um, that's a totally unforced error on the forehand side. Is She hits it about a foot long. She's hit about four forehands now in the last couple of minutes, I'd say three or four minutes um, long. So she's still got good body language, though. She's hopping between points. She's not smiling, though. She's not fist pumping, but her, her energy is good. But... Uh, Everything else, Iga has just been taken out of her her hands, her racket, or whatever you want to call it. She's on fire. Here's a second serve at 15 all coming up. Only 48 minutes into this one, and Iga is already one-third of the way to victory in the second set. Forehand. Ah, forehand. Uh, we had a forehand exchange there with Samsonova taking a – a nice forehand winner with a good angle. She hit it from the middle and got a good angle. It l landed right um, where the, the service line meets the sideline. So good angle. Beautiful. Nicely done. 30-15. Gene saying yes against Kostyuk. Oh, that was a three and a half hour. Yeah, the three and a half hour match. I went three sets, yeah. I saw some highlights of that. Iga with a beautiful forehand winner up the line. Um, gets back to 30 all here in, in this game. Um, nice backhand return off of the out wide serve. And then Samsonova goes cross court forehand to Iga's forehand. And then Iga goes up the line. And Iga's got five forehand winners to Samsonova's eight. Although Samsonova also has a whole bunch of unforced errors. Her serve is long. Oh, here's a second serve. So she finally did get one point. She's one out of 12 on her second serves. But Iga has just been killing it, winning 92% of a second serve return. And that second serve goes off the net and in. So we've got a second second serve coming up here as I finish my coffee. All right, Iga returns that second serve. Now we got a rally, and not that long because Iga goes inside out forehand for the win. Uh, and it is now 30 40 break point once again. She's three for three so far. Will she go four for four? Let's see. Yeah, poor Samsonova. Her second serve is just getting eaten alive. I've not seen these types of numbers. Um, you know, and, and Samsonov was a top 20 player, as we were mentioning. Oh, well, she acquitted herself nicely. A beautiful out-wide serve 
saves finally saves a uh, first break point for the of, for, of the match. So she was 0 for three up until then. Now she's one for four. Oh no! Is there? We got some. Elena Rebecca has pulled out of her third round match in Dubai. Was scheduled to play Coco. Wasn't feeling 100 percent during first round win. WTA DDS tennis. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Well, I guess uh, they got to do what they got to do. Suwon also uh, surprised, as am I. Iga with another um, break point opportunity here. So forehand unforced. So 13 for Samsonov, as I was mentioning, and three for Iga. So Iga just tidy right now. Tidy, tidy. First serve is a beauty up the tee. Return block back. And then the plus one for Samsonova uh, is an inside-out forehand. Nicely done. Brings it back to Deuce. So a couple of good points after looking a little shaky in this uh, service game. But still not out of the woods. That's a bummer about Rebecca. Yeah, I agree. Milan also agree. Thanks for the news, Gene. Sorry, Reba. And KC saying Coco advances 100. Ace out wide for Samsonova. So she's still still trying to get that first game in the set. Can she do it? She's already saved a couple of break points. So nicely done. Nicely done. Here we go. Advantage Samsonova. Serve is long. Second serve. This has been a problem. She's only won one out of 13. Iga is seeing, she must be seeing it like uh, coming at her at the size of a beach ball. She's seeing it so well. Backhand return, cross court, backhand Samsonova, backhand up the line, uh, Iga, and Samsonova forehand into the net. Go back to Deuce, not out of it yet. Iga just relentless on these second serve returns. Just demoralizing, demoralizing. Suwon saying Coco Reba match would have been fun. Yeah, same here. Same here. Casey asking, is it a back injury? I'm not sure. I haven't checked on that. Um, Milan uh, Lachina saying, so my favorite players on both tours, Karatsev and Rebecca, both retiring or withdrawing in the same week. Ah, that's a bummer, man. Uh, it's That's how I felt when um, Carlos Alcaraz pulled out of the Australian Open. But I'm actually really glad that it was like a few days before the tournament because it would have been a bigger shock and a bigger annoyance for me personally. Um, if he, if, if they kind of said it right before, um, cause it is kind of a shock when you're, you know, waiting three, four months to watch someone play. Um, and then boom, they're like, ah, I'm not going to be here. And honestly, I think that his lack of presence, um, it affected the tournament. You know, a lot of people saying, you know, the second week didn't have that many good matches. A lot of straight sets victories. Ripper of a forehand uh, on the return, and it's a winner for Iga. She goes forehand up the line, running around the backhand, and it's back to Deuce. So Samsonova just cannot convert. Doing her best. Who's Iga's next opponent? Uh, let me just check on that. Um, let's see here. Let me... First serve is fault. So another second serve. It's going to be uh, uh, Karolina Pliskova. If Iga wins, she'll face Pliskova in the next round. All right. Backhand to backhand. Backhand Iga. Backhand Samsonova into the net. So another break point opportunity for Iga. Third of this game here. So will she finally get her her break? Let's see. Uh, yeah, so Arthur Mueller, um, yeah, uh, Pliskova is the answer to that. Um, Covey, did you see the Muguruza retirement post? She's still just 20. I, I think she's just, correct me if I'm wrong, I don't think she retired like from the game of tennis. I think she's just taking some time because she's had such a tough stretch. Um, now, correct me if I'm wrong, if anyone knows a little more about that. 
but I'm pretty sure she's just kind of taking like a mental break because she's just been having a really rough time. Samson uh, Iga with a beautiful forehand cross court. Samsonova is now at the net. And Iga's at the net as well, and Samsonova rips it right past the feet of Iga. So a little cat and mouse point, first one of the match, actually. Um, both players making their way to the net. Iga actually, I think she had one chance to put the ball away. She should have gone cross-court instead of up the line on her second last shot. I think that could have been a, um, a better move. But, hey, what do I know? She's the world number one. I'm just sitting here talking about her. Um Let's see. So, Gene is giving us some details. It's actually going to, here we go. Backhand return up the line is a nice one from Iga at Deuce here. Now, forehand Iga, forehand Samsonova again into the net. An unforced error. She is just piling them up. Iga with her fourth break opportunity of this very game. Wow. Just relentless. Uh, Iga is absolutely relentless. So, Gene saying, Elena Rabakina has withdrawn from singles and doubles with a lower back injury. Okay. Coco Goff gets a walkover to the quarters where she faces Madison Keys. All right. Um, XYZ is Coco is the next point of Iga. No, I don't think that's right, my friend. I'm looking at it right here. Quarter, uh, it's going to be Keys and uh, what is it? Yeah, Goff and Keys are going to face each other. Pliskova is going to face the winner of this match. Pliskova took out Angelina Kalanina. Oh, Iga, return goes long. So a couple more uh, second serve points won here for Samsonova. Three out of 15 now. So she's up to 20%, uh, which was from zero. And Gregor Skliskov. How hard is it to win a game against Iga? It is extremely difficult. It might be the toughest thing in women's tennis right now. Um, literally the toughest thing to do in the entire sport of tennis on the WTA tour. Um, forehand goes wide. That was a good rally up the middle. Lots of hard hitting, but Samsonova's forehand goes wide in the end. Setting up break point of, uh, number five of this game. So, man, she must be getting tired of serving here, especially seconds. Uh, terrible way to retire. So sad. And then saying, okay, that's better. Uh, yeah, I believe she, she didn't retire, but she did like, she is taking a break. Now, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure she didn't like officially retire. Like, no, I don't, I don't think that was the case. Oh, a nice hard forehand from Samsonova. And Iga with the backhand goes wide. So back to Deuce yet again. And this game will just not stop being played. I believe we're at 11 minutes now. Uh, that's not official. I'm just... Actually, you know what? Why don't I just actually look at that? Let me see if I can find it on here. So how many deuces have we had? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven deuces in this game. And first serve is long. So here comes the second. Wow, seven deuces. That's a long game. That's a lot of serving. Her, her arm is going to start getting tired. And she's hitting so many second serves as well. So it's not like she's just hitting first serve, one and done. Second serve, nice return up the middle. Uh, now we got forehand Samsonova is long. Another forehand long, and it's a unforced. She's just piling them up. Six. It was a six now. Great point. Um, this is just. Uh, I mean, I'm getting tired for Samsonova. Just, just trying to watch. Just trying to watch her serve this game out. Um, I wonder if at some point she's just gonna give up. Break point number six, first serve into the net. So another second serve. She's three for 16, just 19%. So Iga with another big opportunity to take a three love lead. Can she do it? Second serve from Sansonova is up. Backhand return, nice and deep. Backhand from Sansonova, another backhand Iga to high looper. Now 
Samsonova high looper as well, but this one's way wide. And Iga finally breaks and gets her double break lead in set number two. When the Polish girl be rolling in, each victim be serving them. Bread sticking up bagel and I'm eager when I'm your child. I'm a feature, I'm gonna be child. I'm eager, I'm gonna see you child. Now you can handle my heat now. So Ego with that extreme forehand grip just ripping the ball um, on the forehand sides, crushing it. Um, and on the backhand side, so much whip on that. She's just in total control. Um, we got Milan saying, so not only they're both injured as two favorite players on, on either tour, but they both have lower back issues. What are the odds of that happening? Yeah, that's uh, some bad luck if you're fans of those those players. KC saying we're back as a strong server, so that sort of makes sense at the back. Um I'm not sure what this says, but I just want to throw it up there, and I want to thank you for, for being on the stream. Um, looks like Russian characters. Um, and then we also got Jersey Kapiga. Um, not sure what that means, something about the Ukraine, but uh, thank you very much for the engagement. I really appreciate it. Um, and let's see where we're at for likes, folks, because we still want to hit 100. Ooh, we're only halfway there, 50. 50 likes and we got 161 people in the stream so come on folks let's get to 100 that's the goal i know we can do it please help me get there you guys have been great and also don't be shy if you're new um to commenting you haven't done any comments before throw one in there say hi i always love to say hi to people um we got gregor saying Tushkova, she lost in the 2021 at rome with iga six love six love uh, and then Gregor saying, you got to place tactically to the exhaustion of her opponent. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so here's Iga now serving up a couple of breaks. Th uh, three love in set number two. Her serve is long. Sean Power got to fight for this game. Games against Iga are like badges of honor. Yeah, she did. She tried her best, but after eight deuces, she just couldn't. Oh, we got some bars in the house. Gonna have to get to those in a second. But first, Iga forehand, I Samson of a forehand cross court. Iga forehand up the middle. I'm sorry, up the line winner. And that was a she crushed that one. Um, she is on, man. She's on her toes. She's hitting the ball early. Samsonova is just started crispy. She started actually, believe it or not, I would say she was hitting the ball better of the two in the first three games of the match. And then after that, it was all hell broke loose for her. Iga just decided to, to take over. Um, so Ghost, I'm going to get that in a second here. So we got forehand is long from Samsonova. So 30 love Iga. Bars, she's a killer. She's a thriller. She always on that grind. Call her Spiontech 9 because she <laughs> chopping worldwide. That's fire. All chicks denied nursing their pride. Cry into the heavens. Let me off this ride. Damn, bro, you're killing it. And that, 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 uh, the Tech Nine reference with the worldwide choppers. Wow, that is killer. Oh, beautiful serve up the key. She, she actually sliced it so it looked like it was going to go wide, but then it curled in at the last second. That's a tough serve, um, to, uh, to look down. So 40 love, Iga looking to go, uh, game to love here. Let's see. Can she do it for a four love lead? You guys are just rolling right now. Oh, she pulls an Ori. Did not like that toss. An hour and five minutes. This is one of the longest matches she's played, actually, in quite a while. Um, all three matches in Doha, I believe, were under an hour. Oh, backhand up the line from Iga off of Samsonova's return goes into the net. So no game to love, but it's still 40-15. A couple more chances at a four-love lead here. Ah, uh, Ghost saying, I wish they put a translation function in chat. I want to know what these dudes are saying. Yeah, that would be really cool to, like, understand, you know, what some Russian people are saying or some, uh, you know, the Polish people or, or anyone. It doesn't matter where, whether you're from, like, maybe an Arab country or 
uh, things like that. No, nice rally going on. But every time I say there's a nice rally going on, the rally ends with Sam Sonova hitting a forehand long, which is just what happened. Iga takes it, second straight consolidation. She is up four to love, folks. Iga is just cruising. We got uh, 52 likes. Come on, y'all. Can we get to 100? If a, We got 160 people in here. So hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button as well. As you know, our target now is to get to 100,000. We're at about 50,000. We hit that in Australia. And so, um, yeah, please help us get there. It'll help us bring more tennis to you. Sam Sonova with a plus one off the swinging volley out of the air. And now Iga inside out forehand. Sam Sonova with a backhand. Now forehand Iga up the line. Backhand Sam Sonova. Forehand Iga. Forehand Sam Sonova. Another forehand shank. This one is actually a shank. Uh, and I'm going to hit the sham bank button. That was a fun rally, though. I liked it. Um, Ghost saying with Rebecca out, nobody stopping Iga. It's her tourney. I think Sabalenka might have something to say about this. I feel like Sabalenka unlocked some superpowers when she won. Uh, I'm not saying that I think that she's better than Iga or she's, you know, but I think that she has the ability to take Iga out, um, especially, um, you know, the power. That's the one thing that Iga, if you don't have power, um, Iga is going to just walk all over you. Sue Wan saying the first games are so close. I thought it would be close. Yeah, same here. Uh, Casey agrees with Ghost saying uh, that uh, they're going to, that Iga is just going to take it. All right. Iga return goes long. So it's 15.30 now. So Iga still just a couple points away from another break. Um, Ghost saying, I feel like Iga is the walking embodiment of rally tolerance. She can't be stopped. Mm. She's looking unbeatable right now. That's for sure. Is it the bagel, Iga? Are we going to be hitting the bagel button? I would love to hit the bagel button. First serve from Samsonova is a long one. So here's second serve. She's been getting demolished. Three, only won three out of 17 of her second serves. Been the probably the biggest theme. That and the the just the unforced errors. But um, her backhand long from Samsonova. That was, again, just another easy rally ball up the middle. And she hits it long. So... Um, just not feeling it. It's, it's like her racket head speed is slowed down at the beginning of the match. She was ripping, she was throwing her whole body into it and she was forcing, you know, she forced deuce on uh, Iga's first two service games. And then she's just been slowing it down. And when you slow it down, um, it doesn't give the ball enough chance to go up or down. So it either goes into the net or it goes long. So you got to keep that racket head speed up. And that's a sign of nerves. And I'm not sure why she's nervy because uh, Samson was a top 20 player. And um, she has played Iga pretty well in their only other matchup. Iga with a beautiful forehand cross court winner. And man, another break. She's up five to love. So almost certainly we're going to see some sort of baked good coming out of her big. All right, so we're, we're almost certainly going to hit the bagel button. Uh, 56 likes, 40, what are we, 44 away from 100. I believe, I believe we can do it. Um, hey, Lucas saying, I subbed and liked. Nice job. Thank you, Lucas. I really appreciate it, my friend. And thank you so much for your comments as well. Uh, always fun for me to interact with uh, people from all over the world. Just in case uh, you're wondering where I'm from, I'm in Vancouver, BC, Canada, where it's currently... 4.40 a.m., so it's the middle of the night here, but uh, I love tennis, as you can tell by my uh, handle under my name there. Uh, wait, nope, other way. I always do it. Too. There you go. And if you follow me on uh, Instagram or Twitter, I'll follow you back. So at love, love tennis, the O's are uh, zeros because, of course, zero in tennis is love. Um, so we got... Yeah, bagel time. 
We got well done Mukova. So it looks like that one's over. Ah, actually, let's look at some out of town scoreboards here, folks. My bad. So yeah, Mukova takes that one in straight sets. Um, surprising there. Let's see what update on the other matches that are currently going on. We got Cressy and Bonzi have just started. They're in the very first game of the match. Emer, Michael Emer is up a break and a, a set and a break over Albo. And we've got Felix Oji Ali Asim. Uh, he's down a set, but they are on serve in set number two against Kubler. So Iga now serving for the match at five love. Wow. Her serve up the tee is a really good one. Nice return up the middle. Now backhand Samsonova, forehand Iga inside out as she gets a short ball, makes her way to the net, and she puts it away easy. 15 love, just three points away. Uh, Lucas, I think you're going to be right, my friend. Like, you're going to have the exact score. That might be the first time in one of my streams, uh, if you do get it, that someone got the exact score. And we got uh, Andre Kowalek saying bagel. I think so. Let's see. If she does, I am going to hit the, the bagel button. All right, backhand. Iga up the line. Samsonova made her way to the net off of a short ball from Iga. And she ripped that ball right at, right towards Iga. She should have gone a little further away. Uh, but Iga just backhands it up the line. 30 love. And now she's two points away from a 6-1, six, 6 love victory continuing to roll. Wow unbelievable this is getting crazy kc saying finish it iga um what would be a good handicap for iga maybe that she only get one serve that's actually like honestly um you know in in ice hockey the, the greatest player of all time his name is wayne gretzky and oh oh sorry we got a match point here i gotta get my head in the game. match point So I'll, I'll kind of go uh, talk about that in a sec. But here's match point for Iga. She's up 40 to love. First serve is into the net. So Samsonova has a chance to not uh, to not get bageled and uh, lose the last game to love if she can get a point here. Serve is good. Backhand return is a nice cross court. And my backhand Iga, backhand Samsonova, backhand Iga is long. So 40 15, no game to love. Uh, oh, look at this. We got GSL, one of the all time all stars, Gary San Laurent Covey. Such an early rising for you today. Hello, everyone. Got here just in time for Iga. Bring on Novak. Um, yes, Gary, it is 4.43 here in Vancouver. Uh, luckily, Ben gave me a call to make sure I did wake up. Oh, by the way, the second match point, I should hit this real quick. Match point. Match point number two. Uh, but yes, uh, very happy to be doing the stream, and thanks for joining us. I guess it's, uh, what, 7.45 for you there, Gary, in Florida? All right, forehand is long on the return from Samsonova. And Iga takes it. Oh. Oh, wait. Is it, are they challenging? Someone's challenging the call, actually. So Samsonova's return was called long. And she's challenging it. And it was actually in, so they're replaying the point. A little tiny, tiny, tiny bit of drama here. And um, another match point. Match point. So Iga serves it. It was a good serve. The return, um, they called it out, but it clipped the line. So match point number two, again, they're, they're replaying the point. So it's not a, a different match point, but you get uh, you get why I pressed the button. All right, so here we go. Serve is long. Second serve coming up. All right, here we go. Iga. Looking to put this match away. Second serve is good. Forehand Samsonova. Forehand Iga. Forehand Samsonova. Forehand Iga. Forehand Samsonova. Backhand Iga the other way. And it's wide. So now 40-30. And match point number three on our hands. Woo. Match point. 
So what I was saying earlier, Sean, about the handicapping in, in hockey, Wayne Gretzky, if uh, most people, they had hockey pools, um, you weren't allowed to choose Gretzky because he would win every year the points race. So we got to figure something out for Iga. She's so dominant. Uh, like, what could you do? Not give her a second serve. Or maybe she just starts the set at, like, love form, just so the other players have a chance. Um, all right. Second serve here. Match point. Iga, number three. Backhand up the line. Forehand Samsonova is long. And there it is. Iga Spiontek takes it. Ba a breadstick and a bagel. Samsonova looking dejected. Uh, nice little sh handshake over there. Um, Iga politely lets Samsonova shake the ref's hand first. So there we have it, folks. Iga is the victor. She has only dropped, what was it, two games now in this tournament? Like, come on, man. Unbelievable. She's just beginning uh, at an incredible rate uh, of, of games. Um, she's not giving up more than one game. <laughs> Wait, that's not true. Against Pagula, she gave up three games. I think against uh, Fernandez, was it six love? Or, or no, it was six one six one. I believe. Anyways, no one's getting more than a game off of her unless you're like a top five player. Pagula, she got three. But wow, unbelievable effort, Iga Swiatek, the world number one, absolutely playing like it. Luca, uh, Lucas, actually predicted this not now, but predicted it before the match started. It said six one six love, so he was absolutely. Bang on. Um, <laughs> go seeing the best hockey player is Ross the Boss Ray. I don't even know who that is, to be honest. And I'm an, I'm like a hockey encyclopedia. Uh, Gary was saying comeback when uh, when Iga gave up a couple of uh, match points there. Um, so I'll take a quick look at some comments. And then I think we're pretty much caught up here. We got Ursula saying Yazda Iga. I do pose to. I'm not sure what that means, but I'm pretty sure it's congratulations to Iga. Um, yeah, Iga's actually on court right now doing the interview. Uh, ooh, we got Gene giving us an update on uh, Felix, Frank Kubler for 3 1. So he's trying to get a force third set there. Um, yeah, effortlessly fit in, in the chat. Saying gotta be so hard to focus. Uh bagel button time. Oh, yes, thank you. Let me let me hit that bagel button. Thank you for reminding me because I not very often to get to do it. So this is for Ega, y'all. The bagel button. Have a listen. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. We got a bagel. So a couple more comments and thank you to my friend uh, Tuwan Lim for reminding me about the bagel button. Thank you. And Ems is in the house, Ireland's finest. Welcome. She says I'm late, but hey, anyway, yeah, you made it just on time. Uh, we got Joseph uh, Kubicki saying, bravo, Iga, we love you. We got, um, let's see here. It used to be donuts, but the Israeli lobby is much more powerful than Dunkin' Donuts. Ghost says the funniest stuff, man. We've got these uh, hilarious double entendres uh, politically and stuff like that. We got Gregors uh, Krajewski saying, thank you for a fascinating stream. Thank you for joining me on the stream, my friend. It was great having you. Thank you for your insight. Uh, we got Robert Szynski saying, power, all capitals, talking about EGA, of course. Um and then uh, Gary had something here about, what was it? It's not up here. Oh, this is regards to what, what can we do to handicap Iga? Just let her play with the men. Seriously, though, bring on Sabalenka. Yeah, I definitely think that she, Sabalenka is the only player right now who can, uh, well, let's see. Ghost even agrees. The WTA needs a lady or two to up their game balance to balance out Iga's dominance. Maybe Sabalenka can do it. Yeah, interesting how it went from, from Ash Barty, like, directly to Iga. Like, there was no gap. There was no, like, you know, 
someone else took it for a little bit and then Iga, you know, kind of got on a roll. It was just like, boom, Iga took it and just ran with it. Uh, and she earned it, you know, so, yeah. Go say M's, you're Irish. I'm giving away people's uh, nationalities here. Um, let's see here. And then this is from Andre. I'm not sure what this says, but thank you for commenting, my friend. Um, also from Molgor Zatamucha uh, saying, Bravo, Iga, say forte. Um, yes, very strong performance from Iga. All right, folks, so it's now 4.51 a.m., almost 5 a.m. I think it's time for me to get going. Uh, actually, I should have been doing this a while ago. Um, I want to thank every single person. You guys have been lovely. We hit 66 likes. That's really, really good for a stream that was uh, under two hours. Um, what was the match time here? Let's throw that up here real quick. It was an hour and 15 minutes. So, yeah, thank you all very much. I really appreciate it. Um, all of the comments, all of the interactions. Like I said earlier, we got merch. If you want to get this cool hoodie like I have or any other merch, look in the description box below. Um, also, stay tuned for uh, other streams. Always check our, our channel. Um, of course, we have streams going on very often. We've got news streams. We've also got a stream that I do weekly. We just started this Monday. It's called Cubby's Corner, where I do a weekly roundup show on all things tennis-related stories, um, news, big matches, a little bit of analysis. So, uh, yeah. Anyways, and then uh, I'm going to end it with uh, with Lucas saying, have a lovely day, guys. I agree. Um, let's see here. Actually, there's, you know, they keep coming in. I just love you guys. Uh, um, let's see here. We got... We got Gary saying, catch everyone on the next one, anxiously awaiting news from Nola. Yeah, same here. He, he pushed his, uh, his uh, press conference back an hour. I'm very, very, very excited to see what he's saying. Uh, Isabel, live. Iga wins. Yes, she did. Uh, Iga, thank you, Covey. Peace, chat. Peace out. And Gary saying, Covey is officially in his element. Thank you. And Bill saying, Covey's corner is the best. I look forward to it. Thank you. Thank you. And then we got Robert. You look good, Covey. Thank you very much, Robert. And once again, I'm going to end it on this one because I just I just really like it. It says, it says have a lovely day, guys. Uh, thank you, Lucas. Thank you, everyone. And I just wanted to say thank you one last time from Vancouver, BC, and uh, for joining me. Have a great day, folks, and we will see you on another stream very soon. Peace out.